That was a lot of fun. Good morning. Welcome back to the Archivet YouTube channel. My name's Trevor, and we just dropped the mail, so we'll roll that intro. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got to fix of you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die, and he came back to life. He's the reason why that we don't have to... All right, guys. Welcome back, and today I'm going to be starting something new. Um, I actually used to do part of this, which is I used to read my devotional books with you guys. <clears throat> and even though this is for dads, you know, there might be a lot of you out here that are dads or will be dads one day. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read through this daily devotional. I'm going to add it to every video like we used to do. And um, talk about it and even if you're if you're a mom watching or will be a mom one day some of these could fall into your hands as well and help you so let's go ahead and get on with this one <clears throat> today's devotional is win every debate be sure you put your feet in the right place then stand firm Abraham Lincoln Members of high school debate team of a high school debate team sometimes take part in exercise that seems impossible to me. They draw a const con what what draw a controversial issue out of a hat and are instructed to take one side of that issue and develop arguments based on logic and reason. I used to do debate that was actually kind of fun. <laughs> My response is, arg. <laughs> what if my slip of paper dictates that I take the wrong side of the debate? I don't think I would want to give a voice to arguments for abortion rights, lowering the drinking age, or removing the words under God for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> On the other hand, one of the important strategies in debate is to know both sides of the issue. You don't need to agree, but you do need to know what the opposition believes and why they feel, feel that way. If I can understand and anticipate the position of my opponents, then I can strengthen my own arguments. In, in the same manner, especially as they get older, don't just tell your kids what to believe, tell them why. Like so many aspects of parenting, this exercise requires you to get your own act together. That means thinking through issues and prioritizing your own positions and point of views, points of view. On the big issue, on the big issues, you'll want to help them see both sides, help them choose where to stand, and then equip them to stand firm on their own. And then at the little at the bottom it has a what about you? Memorize 1 Peter memorize 1 Peter 3:15. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the, the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. So that is today's daily devotional in our day-by-day -day devotions for dads. And this book is, I, I really like it, and we're, we're pretty far into it. We're on page 50. So that's pretty good. We're gonna make it through this though, all the way. <clears throat> now, about that devotional that we just had, it is very good to, like it says, know both sides of, of the issue. And well, as a parent, I've just dealt with that recently. The, the, the kids would like to go do something and I said, well, here's the thing. That we could but we have to think about this and what would be even better is if we could all go and we maybe run into your friends and see your friends there so you know it it's all about taking that step back looking at it from every angle you can 
putting yourself in their shoes and realize and noticing that the the fruit of our lips is what is going to stick with them what we say will stick with them so the new part of this of this video which is kind of why we're sitting out here i feel like this would be a good spot plus the sun is warming me up it's absolutely gorgeous i needed me some sun today we i have my bible here we are going to go back and what i want to do is i have a bible study group and i believe that we are on chapter 19 in genesis so genesis 19 is where we are at in our bible study group and it's been very very slow and i've been behind and everybody else has too and it's okay however i felt like what if somebody new wants to join and then i tell them we're in genesis 19 and they have to jump from one all the way to 19. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, that's where this idea comes in. And the idea is that I will read one chapter out of, the, out of um, each book of the Bible. I'll read one chapter and I'll put it in a video. That way, if somebody does join later, they can go and just watch all these videos. However, also on the other hand, anybody else that's interested in reading through the bible all the way can also just go and do the same thing watch from one maybe you don't want to read it maybe you want to listen to me stumble through the words because believe me i'm going to and it's going to be amazing it's going to be great this is something that hit me two weeks ago and i felt reassured last week and i know i shouldn't need that reassurance but i, I for some reason i did and here we are so before I do start reading this chapter, um, Genesis 1 is what I'm going to be reading. This Bible is my English, it's an English standard version and I have a link to it. I will add a link to this and my devotional book down below in the description. So definitely check it out and if you want to read along, get the same book, that'd be amazing. Same Bible, it'd be great. And. In the future when I do these, I will cut right to the chase of just reading the chapter and we won't have all this extra, extra-ness in here. <laughs> so thank you for bearing with me. Let's go ahead and I'm opening up the Genesis 1 and we're just going to read chapter 1 here. The creation of the world. <clears throat> Gen Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God said, let the light, that, blah, 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 blah. see what I mean guys? <laughs> and God said that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning, the first day. And God said, let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters. And God made the expanse and separated the waters that were under the expanse from the waters that were above the expanse. And it was so. And God called the expanse heaven. And there was evening and there was morning the second day. <clears throat> God said, let the waters under the expanse oh oh hang on under <clears throat> under the heavens be gathered into one place and let the dry land appear and it was so god called the dry land earth the waters that were gathered together he called seas and god saw that it was good and god said let the earth sprout veg vegetation plants plants yielding seed and fruits bearing fruit in which is their seed each according to its kind on the earth and it was so the earth brought forth vegetation plants yielding seed according to their own kinds and trees bearing fruit in which their seed which is their in which is their seed each according 
to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And here was evening, and there was morning. There was, and there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons, and for days and for years. And let them be lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon earth. Also, oh, see, I keep keep skipping too far. And it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. So he created the sun and created the moon. <clears throat> And God set them in the expanse of heaven of the heavens to give light on the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. So God created the great sea creatures and every living creature that moves, with which the waters swarm according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, livestock and creeping things and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds and live, the livestock according to their kinds. Which is kind of cool because we got our cattle back there. Not our cattle, but some cattle. <laughs> and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind and God saw that it was good then God said let us make man in our image after our likeliness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creepy thing that creeps on the earth so God created man in his own image in the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. And God blessed them. God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food, and to every beast of earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to everything that creeps on the earth. Everything that has the breath of life, I have given every pl green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. And that leads us into in Genesis 2, which is the seventh day God rests. So, if you guys enjoy these little readings, I will read chapter 2 and have a video of that. In these videos, tomorrow maybe tomorrow I will do chapter 2. I do not plan to run ads on these Bible readings um, because to be honest with you guys I, I want this all to just be for the glory of God. I want this is my this is my way of discipleship of helping bring others to the word because my words are meaningless but his are, are everything you know like everything so if he can work through me to help bring you or a friend, a family member, anybody 
closer to him, that that's a win. That's a win. That's a win. So my plan is to continue to do this all the way through the entire Bible, the entire Bible, all the way to Revelations. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a long journey, but we're going to do it. And with your guys' support, we're going to keep keep going, keep going. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. And you know what? Thank you, Jesus. I feel like we should just make a quick little prayer real quick. So I'm put my hands together and bow my head. And you guys are free to say a little prayer of your own. And I'll say mine out loud. Dear Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the opportunities, for all these blessings. I couldn't do any of this without you. And please, Lord, help me, help me get the words, help me read the Bible better, and be in it more, in the Word more, so that we can help bring others to you. I want to be the little light that helps shine in somebody else's life. And I want them to also try and be that light for somebody else and somebody else and somebody else. To grow your kingdom, Lord. Look glory to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God is amazing. Thank you guys so much. Smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We will see you in the next video. Have a great night. And God bless. Don't ever give up, God is here with you yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true This God is fixing you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ